I, I was impressed. I mean, it, you know, any, any time that uh, you, you get together a group of people who share the same passion but also have the expertise, it's, uh, you know, a very positive thing. Um, you know, there, there's certainly a need out there right now. We, we, we all understand the importance of, of committing to big data and uh, you know, trying to analyze that data and convert it into useful information. And to have a combination of uh, people like myself, who I kind of represent, the athlete and also the academic, but you have the practitioner. Um, you know, this is what what we need to do. We need to come together and uh, you know discuss be best practices and uh, get stronger move moving forward. Arguably, the United States is the home of sports analytics, with the the very popularized story of Moneyball and Billy Bean. Now, what did you make of the the scene, the analytics scene in the UK? Uh, you know, I, I've actually been pleasantly surprised. I, you know, I, I wasn't aware of um, how many clubs hire performance analysts and, and, and all the attention that, that, that or I guess I, I should say attention or awareness that this is important. Um, you know, I, I think it's just we're, we're trying to figure out uh, the best way to implement it and to, you know, reach that manager, you know, reach the soccer purist and say, hey, you know, th this can, can really help. It doesn't jeopardize the integrity of the sport. Um, you know, everyone's competitive. You're trying to get a competitive advantage. This is this is the way to do it. Um, so it's um, you know it was a pleasant surprise, and, and I, I think there's 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 good momentum right now, and, and you know I want to see you keep, you know, keep going. You presented your views on on the substitutions rule and the timing of that. Quite a, a radical proposal, really, in, in in world soccer terms. How do you see that playing out and developing it in in the coming months and years? Well, uh, you know, wh whether or not it's going to actually be listened to and, and, and followed by the managers is one thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think being in an event like this, uh, I, I've been able to reach multiple clubs. So I would imagine that, uh, you know, the idea will be bounced around and maybe actually suggested to, to managers. And it'll be interesting. I'll be paying attention to kind of over time. And, and you know, I track the, the participation rate. And right now I had it at about 30%. And see if that number changes. You know, if it changes, then that's that's some evidence that uh, you know it could happen. And this is just just this is just one example of, of of many types of recommendations that you know are driven through analytics that um, you know coaches can potentially follow. So we'll see about the substitutions thing. It'll be interesting. Finally, uh, you, your your first time in Manchester, I presume. Um, what did you make of the whole the whole event, the whole city, the first time in the the capital of world soccer? Dare we say? I mean, I have so much, uh, so much respect, uh, you know, for the city, for um, you know, in, in, in soccer terms of, of, of the tradition, with, with, with uh, you know, arguably one of the best clubs in in, in the world, in Manchester United, that's uh, you know, storied franchise, and then an up and coming big club with Manchester City that obviously did something, uh, you know, tremendous last year with winning the the, the title um, after many years, and, and so I, you know, it it was it's been a privilege to to be here to be. To be part of this event, that, which is kind of connected to, to that, um, my first time in Manchester. Uh, I, I wish that I had more time, because um, obviously I've been very involved. Uh, you know, trying to meet as many people as possible and, and, and kind of network. Um, and so, you know, plan on maybe going out tonight and, and, and experiencing more about the city. But I think this is some, a place I want to revisit in the future, and hopefully, uh, you know, some of these connections I've made will turn into kind of long-lasting relationships where, you know. I, I could make it a, a regular habit to, to, you know, to come to places like Manchester to, to visit and present in, in, in a conference or uh, things like that.